right, friends, welcome to our second lesson of informative writing. Let's have a quick flashback of what we learned yesterday. Yesterday, we learned about informative writing. We examined different informative texts to determine what will be needed when we write our own informative texts. We then created a list of what is needed when writing informative texts. Let's think about our target for today. Our first target is, I can read and research about a topic to gain information. So today, I will be showing you a video and a book about sea turtles to help you gain information. Our second target is, I can sort this information to understand what I will use to write an informative text. So once we have the information from what we'll be researching, you're going to sort this information into a list of what you've learned. This will help you understand what you can write about in your informative text about sea turtles. So what do we know about sea turtles? Yesterday, you answered a question about what you knew about sea turtles. You shared some facts. Today, we are going to research sea turtles to find more facts that are true about them. At the bottom of the video is a list of facts you guys shared yesterday. As we research today, we will be able to determine if the facts we shared are true facts. Here's a video about sea turtles that you may watch. Sea turtles. Sea turtles are turtles that live in the sea. They can be found in most oceans but they especially love warm, shallow water. Male sea turtles spend their whole life in the sea, so they're great swimmers. Their flippers are perfectly designed to glide them through the water. Females are great swimmers also and only go on the land to lay eggs. They lay lots of eggs in sandy beach nests. When the cute little turtles hatch, they race to the water. Look at them go. What else can you notice about this sea turtle? That's right. Sea turtles have hard shells for protection. Their shells are very strong. Did you know? Leatherback sea turtles grow so big that they're as heavy as a small car, longer than a grown man, and can swim as deep as a submarine? Sea turtles eat everything from seagrass to jellyfish. Chomp, chomp, chomp. But sometimes they confuse plastic bags with food. So be careful where you throw your rubbish. What other... So now that you were able to watch that video about sea turtles, I want you to think and maybe write some of that information down. Once you have it written down, you may continue the video. Animals, would you? Next, we have a book that we're going to use for our research. The book is called Sea Turtles. It's from National Geographic, which is a true magazine. It usually publishes true facts and non-fiction information. Let's go ahead and read this book now. Hey friends, so here we are. We're going to read a book called Sea Turtles. Here's the table of contents for this book, and here we go. 
says a sea turtle. What hatches on land but spends its life in the sea? What stout starts out the size of a ping pong ball but can grow up to seven feet long? A sea turtle. Sea turtles are graceful swimmers in the water. Their flippers move like wings. A cold-blooded animal that lays eggs and has a backbone and scaly skin is called a reptile. Sea turtles travel the world in warm ocean waters. They are one of the few reptiles that live in the sea. This dark blue area shows where the sea turtle travel. A sleek body helps the turtle move easily through the water. They have scales on its shell that are called scutes. The back flippers steer the turtle as it swims, and they are also used to dig nests in the sand. A sea turtle has lungs because it breathes air. A sea turtle holds its breath underwater. Sea turtles can't pull their heads and limbs into their shells like land turtles can. Their large, powerful flippers act like paddles. Scientists believe some sea turtles live 80 years or more, but they don't know for sure. Meet the turtles. There are seven kinds of sea turtles in the world. Each has special features. In this picture, you can see the loggerhead, the most common sea turtle in the southeastern United States. It gets its name from its large head. In this picture, we have the flat back. The flat back has a fat, flat body. It's the only sea turtle that doesn't live in U.S. waters. It lives near Australia. The olive ridley has an olive colored shell. It is shaped like a heart. The hawksbill can't dive deep. It spends most of its time on the water surface. The green turtle has a small head. Unlike other sea turtles, it goes ashore to warm itself in the sun. The Kemp's ridley likes shallow waters. It's the world's most endangered sea turtle. Endangered means at risk or dying out. So, the leatherback doesn't have a hard shell. Its skin is rubbery with small bones underneath. Now let's learn about nest building. Female olive ridley sea turtles. This is what the picture is showing. A female sea turtle comes on land to lay her eggs. She usually returns to the same beach where she hatched. Scientists aren't sure how sea turtles know where to go. They think sea turtles know by instinct. The sea turtle digs a hole with her back flippers. She lays her eggs and covers them with sand. Then she returns to the sea. So an instinct is a behavior that animals are born knowing how to do. And this is a female green sea turtle. Oh baby, crack, the eggs hatch after 50 to 70 days. Tiny turtles called hatchlings crawl out of their egg shells. They are less than three inches long. So a hatchling is a young animal that has just come out of its egg. And in this picture, it's showing a baby loggerhead sea turtle hatching from its shell. Hatchlings usually crawl toward the sea at night. In the dark, they are hidden from predators. The little turtles follow the brightest light. The line where the sky meets the sea is the brightest natural light on a beach. If the hatchling follows this light, they will make it to the sea. So a predator means an animal that's going to eat other animals. And in this picture, you can see the leatherback is hatch, 
hatchling. So he's going towards the sea. So big and small. The smallest sea turtles are the Kemp's Ridley and the Olive Ridley. Adults are about two feet long and weigh up to 100 pounds. The largest sea turtle is the leatherback. It can grow up to seven feet long and weigh more than 2,000 pounds. That's about 10 men put together. On the menu, munch, munch, what's for lunch? Most sea turtles eat plants and animals. They dine on algae and sea grasses. They also munch on crab and conches. So algae is a simple non-flowering plant that do not have stems, roots, or leaves. Jellyfish are a favorite food for many sea turtles. The plastic trash can look like jellyfish in the ocean, and that spells trouble. Swallowing trash can hurt and even kill sea turtles. In danger. This is a hawksbill sea turtle caught in a net. Trash isn't the only danger to sea turtles. Fishing nets and hungry animals can harm them too. Bedling lights confuse hatchlings so they don't reach the sea. And sometimes people even step on sea turtle nests by accident. A sea turtle rescue. In 2010, a giant oil spill leaked into the Gulf of Mexico. Oil covered sea animals and washed up on beaches. Oil is dangerous to people and wildlife. So you can see in this picture, oil on beaches in Louisiana in an oil covered Kemp's Ridley. People in charge of sea turtle rescue programs in Louisiana save many sea turtles. The rescuers cleaned the turtles and gave them medicine. People cared for them until they could return to the sea. Safekeeping. You don't need to work at a sea turtle hospital to help sea turtles. Here are a few things you can do to keep them safe. You can 1. Pick up trash on a beach. 2. Don't release balloons into the air. They often end up in the sea. 3. Turn out lights that could be seen from the beach. 4. Read beach warning signs and avoid turtle nesting areas. And 5. Tell your classmates what you've learned about sea turtles. Here's a quick glossary of all the words that we learned today. All right, all right friends. friends. Thank, Thank you for you reading with me. Reading. And we learned a, a lot, lot about, about sea turtles. turtles. So what have we learned? Think about the facts that you have learned about sea turtles. Make a list. Are these facts different from what you thought before we researched? Let's review our target quickly. I can read and research about a topic to gain information. So we did have some reading and we researched through a video to gain information about sea turtles. So we definitely got that target. Next is I can sort this information to understand what I will use to write an inform informative text. So your job will be to write a list of new information that you learned from both of these resources. So now it is your turn. You will make a list of all the new facts we have learned about sea turtles using the Google Slides attached. You'll be able to write everything that you've learned, and you can always stop and rewatch this video to help you gain more information about sea turtles. All right, friends, good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow.